All right, so I'm about to move out of this location and go to the Airbnb. So before I leave, I just want to show you guys what a Taiwanese apartment that you would buy looks like, might look like. This is an unrenovated one, so it's a little older, but uh, this should be interesting. So this is on the third floor. Basically, you can buy, my friend David told me, because they actually own this, you can basically buy a floor. So on this floor, you see the little door. It's really humid, so that's why the camera's fogging up. Open the door, you go in, and voila, you own basically this whole cell in the tunnel. This balcony holds up, we're gonna wipe the screen. Okay. Yeah, this whole balcony right here, it's basically you own this floor. And so here's the actual dwellings area. Let me turn the microphone around actually. There we go. So, okay. Open the door and boom, here we are. So as you can see, this is the living room. This is unrenovated, like I said. So we got the old, you know, vintage floor, checkerboard floor. Look up there, we got the little uh, cooler unit because there's no central AC in most of, I'm pretty sure unless it's like a super new place, there's not gonna be central AC. So you got this thing trying to cool this whole area. So you can kind of imagine how it is. And most of the time in Taiwan, it is pretty damn humid. So there is that going on. So let's move on. Uh, some of my stuff is here that I'm about to take out. So I was just getting ready to leave. This is the technically, I guess, the dining area right here. Boom. And let's go into the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Very old style, just like this. A little sink going on right here. Boom. As, I, as you can see, it's like not very renovated. Very old fashioned. And most places are going to be like this where there's not actually like a stove installed. You're going to buy this kind of gas stove and hooks up to the gas. And yep, there you go. Got the little ventilation system up here. Let me turn this off, by the way. There we go. And then, hold up. Outside of the kitchen, check this out. This is pretty nice. I actually really like this. Outside of the kitchen, you got this whole area. Boom, that's where the washer is. And then you've got this area, which is made specifically so you can hang dry your clothes because in Asia, a lot of the clothes, if you're gonna, if you put it in the dryer, it's gonna shrink a lot and you're probably not gonna be able to wear it anymore. So I like, and good clothes, you really wanna hang dry anyway. So I really like that they have that because in America, you have to kind of build your own hang dry area if you wanna hang dry. So there we go, let's move on. We got a little storage room in here. Nothing really to speak about. This is just a storage room um, specifically. Where is that? All right, well, there's a, there's a pull-up bar in there. You can't really see it, but it's just a room. Nothing, nothing special going on here. Close that. Let's move on. And we've got another room here. You could probably... Hold up. There we go. You could probably... This is David's workspace. He sometimes comes over here to work. You know, you could probably put a bed in here. Really small, though, but, you know, it can fit a person. And the other bedroom right here, this is where I was staying, slightly bigger. And you can see there is once again another cooler unit so that way you don't have to be in the heat when you're sleeping. So this works pretty well because for just this room that cooler unit can, can keep it cool. But when you're trying to cool the whole living room, that gets a little tougher. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. A lot of Asian bathrooms are like this. Granted they might look a little nicer, but here we are. It is a wet room, as you can see, so the whole ground is made out of the tile, and there's no separation between shower and the ground. You just go in here, do everything you need to do. You know, you can take a crap and immediately go wash your butt right here, so perfect. And yeah, that's how it's gonna be. I'll... Boom, boom. Oh, I almost forgot my, my uh, conditioner and shampoo. That's good that I came back in here. So that's that. And that basically ends it. That's, that's everything. Okay, battery died right there, but as I was saying, my friend David, whose parents own this place, um, told me that this whole dwelling would cost around $400 USD a month. Taiwan dollars is about like 12,000, uh, maybe 13,000, but yeah, it's uh, for USD, not too bad, not too bad. And this is definitely 
large enough to sustain one person. Even two people could live in here, really. But that's basically what it's like, unrenovated. David's place looks a lot nicer once you renovate it, so that's gonna conclude the Taiwan old-fashioned apartment tour. See you in the next one.